that's the biggest problem. We don't talk about our symptoms and how we feel. Partum depression, an issue doctors and patients say is not discussed enough, but Texas is changing that notion. As CBS 4's Jelani Martinez explains, a new law focused on making sure moms are getting proper care even after birth. A sound that could change a life forever. But for some, it could be overwhelming. Up to 80% uh, pregnant females will experience, and that usually happens within the first two weeks of pregnancy. Dr. Laura Fonseca is talking first about the postpartum blues, stress. but there is another condition more severe. It's depression that occurs during or after the pregnancy, during the postpartum period, the first 12 months. It's a health condition people avoid talking about. I've had a lot of patients tell me that the moms or the grandmothers tell them like, no, it's fine, it's normal, I went through it. So a lot of the moms just don't talk about it or prefer to keep those symptoms to themselves. This year, the legislature passed a bill addressing postpartum depression by requiring a five-year strategy be implemented for improving access to screenings, referrals, treatment, and support services. And it is very important that once we recognize this, I'm an OBGYN, but there's patients who have a more severe form and then sometimes they need the referral to a psychiatrist. The doctors understand the challenges of transitioning to motherhood, but encourages women to take care of themselves also. Being able to recognize mental health related symptoms in the context of pregnancy and then seeking the appropriate resources to address those symptoms will definitely go a long way in ensuring the safety of both mother and child. If you don't take care of yourself, then you won't be able to take care of other people, especially your children. Reporting in Hidalgo County with Complete Valley coverage, Jolani Martinez, CBS 4 Valley at 6. The signs of postpartum depression include detachment from children, lack of interest in activities, sleeping difficulties, appetite changes, and even suicidal and homicidal ideations.